Okay, let's, we are doing what? We are doing the iterative method and I give you some example last time about the both Jacobi and the gas ideal method. And I told you the if the compare the both method, then of course the gas ideal method generally converge faster than the Jacobi method. And both method may converge may diverge, but but when they converge for the same system, then generally we say that the gas ideal method is converge faster than the Jacobi here. I think you I'm not very sure. I, I give you last time the matrix form of the iterative system. Is any student help me in this regard, please? I give this one to the matrix form. This is a matrix form of that one. I give also the example for that case. Is any student help me in this regard, please? I did that one or not? Yes, yes, we did. We did like this one. And uh, this example I show you. This is a convergence condition. Also, I mentioned you, we have a two con convergence condition. And uh, <coughs> the number one is a sufficient condition. And as I told you, if the matrix A of the system is strictly diagonally dominant, then it is 100% guarantee both method will converge. Jacobi and the gas ideal will be converge. And then I give this example to you here that rearrange your falling system such that the method will converge. So rearrangement mean you are given system definitely is not STD. You have to make it STD by interchanging the equation. So STD mean all the diagonal element in their respective row must be bigger than some of the elements here. Now you can see diagonal element one is not bigger than nine because we don't care about negative because some of the absolute value of the other element. Two is not bigger than eight and one is not bigger than seven. So this is not STD. So we rearrange according to the teacher mentioned it. <coughs> Rearrangement your system and that's the rearrangement we did with what I did make last equation to the first one and we have a new shape like this one now you can easily see this is std five is bigger than three six is bigger than four and six is bigger than four we have <coughs> and now if we use a jacobi method that i use here and the gas seidel method guarantee both will be the conversion we have here. We finish up to this one, uh, and I think I give this one also the second condition for the convergence. And I said, if the norm of T of the iterative method and the formula for T for the case of Jacobi and the Seidel method, I already mentioned you in the matrix form, is this one. This is for the case of the Jacobi method. This is the iterative matrix form of the Jacobi method. For this iterative form, we need Tj and Cj. Tj is this formula. This is, you have to memorize it, please. This is very important formula from the iterative point of view. Tj is this one and Cj is this one. Then you can find the matrix form here. And this is the matrix form of the Carl's Idle method. And this, you need Tg, this formula you have to use. And I told you what is L. L is the lower part of the matrix A. D is M, the diagonal part of the matrix A. And U is the upper part of the matrix. So that's you have to find Cg like this one. Now, let's I give you the this theorem. 
the convergence, the second condition we are talking about is also this one is a, one of the best condition because first condition we use, which we call is STD. And the second condition for convergence is the norm of T must be less than one. If A is STD, I told you both methods will converge, but we don't know their speed of convergence, slow or fast. Therefore, we use <coughs> the second condition, which is this one, is the norm of T of the Jacobi method and the gas ideal method is less than one. Then it is guaranteed that the matter will the conversion. And this is the error bond formula for the case of iterative method, maybe the Jacobi, maybe the gas method. And to find T, K is the number of iteration, number of approximation, and X1 is the first initial, uh, first approximation, and X0 is the initial approximation. <clears throat> Let's I give you the example, this one. This is a very good example from examination point of view. He say, consider the non-homogeneous linear system, and he say, find the metric form of the Jacobi and the gas ideal method. This is the first part. And then they say, show that the gas ideal method converge faster than the Jacobi method. As I told you, the smaller the norm of T, faster the convergence here. If the norm of T is close to zero, it means the method is converge faster. Come close to one, it become <coughs> very, very slow. If is greater than one, we have no guarantee may converge, may diverge. We have no guarantee here. Guarantee only if the norm of the T, the iteration matrix, maybe the Jacobi, maybe the gas side that we have here. And if you want to find out the number of iteration, this is a formula I give you. <coughs> the number of iteration. You remember, as I told you, when teacher give you the error bond formula in chapter number two, teacher always give you how many iteration we need to get this accuracy. This epsilon is the accuracy. And this M is the, this value, right? This one succeed by this, succeed by the lin of T norm here. And then you can get the value of the number of iteration here. Let's say do the first example, put in the matrix form here. And I told you what is the matrix form of the Jacobi method. This is a matrix form of the Jacobi method. To find this matrix form, you need TJ and CJ. TJ formula is this one, and CJ formula is this one. And to find the matrix form of gas ideal, you have to do this form and for this you need tg and this is a tg you have to calculate and cg you have to calculate by this formula that's the formula you have to memorize that one please very important from examination point of view less we are doing this example so and the first part is a find the matrix form of the jacobi and the iterative method of course in exam, maybe teacher give you only one matrix form of uh, Jacobi or the gas ideal. And the second part is a very important here. And second part is say, show that the gas ideal method for this problem is converges faster than <coughs> the Jacobi method. And what does that mean here? As I told you, smaller the norm, faster the convergence of the method. It means you have to find TG norm and TJ norm and TG norm should be less than, smaller than TJ norm, because I told you smaller the norm, faster the convergence of the matter. So what is your first job? <laughs> your first job to find TJ, 
And this is the formula. This one, we are finding the matrix form of Jacobi method. So first we need TG and TG formula is a minus D inverse L plus U. L is a lower part of A, U is upper part of A and D is a diagonal part of A. What is the diagonal part of A? Is the five, three, four, all other must be zero. And what is the L plus U? L plus U, this short part will be the zero and the rest we left here, the upper part plus lower part, we have it this one here. Now you need to do what? Find the inverse of this one. <laughs> and the inverse of the diagonal matrix is a very, very simple. Inverse of the diagonal is a reciprocal. So what is the inverse of this matrix? Is one over five, one over three, and one over four only. 1 over 5, 0, 0, 0, 1 over 3, 0, 0, 0, 1 over 4. This is the only way to find inverse of the diagonals. No need to use any formula. Directly you can do the, di the inverse of the diagonal matrix, always the reciprocal of the diagonal element in the diagonal. You find the inverse of that one, multiply with the minus with this, and inshallah you will get this TJ. And the similar way you can find out TG. And after having this one, you will get that this is a matrix form we have here now. TJ, we just find out this one into XK. And this is CG. And I told you, what is the CJ formula? This I give you that D inverse multiplied by B. So you have D inverse is 1 over 5, 0, 0, 0, 1 over 3, 0, 0, 0, 1 over 4. You multiply with this B one, two, and four, and inshallah, when you multiply, you will get exactly this one, one over five. This, this is the way we have the, the matrix form of the Jacobi method. And then the same way we do for the case of the gas idle method. And the gas idle method, we have to find TG, and this is the formula of TG here, is a diagonal plus lower, this is a diagonal plus lower. This inverse you have to find out. And then you have to use U. U is upper part of the given matrix here. And upper part of this one is what? Zero minus one, zero. Rest all are zero like this one we have here now. You use the method or calculator. If in exam teacher not mention you by any method to find inverse in this case, you can use calculator and you can have the inverse of this matrix is this one. You multiply with the minus with this one and inshallah you will get this TG. And I told you how to find T, C constant constant how to find constant for the case of the gas idle formula you must draw the remember the formula it is l plus d inverse which you already know before and into multiply with the right hand side and when you multiply l plus d inverse which you find here right this is the l plus d inverse you already calculated you multiply this one with b you will get exactly this one, the CG is a constant. This is the matrix form of that one here. So we finished the first part. And in the first part, he say, find the matrix form of the Jacobi and the gas idle method. Now we move to the second part. And in the second part, what he said, second part, he said, show that the gas idle method is converges faster than the Jacobi. And how can we show faster than Jacobi. This is the formula I give you here. Smaller the T num, faster the convergence of the methods here. And we know what is the L infinity norm of matrix. I told you the last time here, two time I repeat that one. <laughs> the L infinity norm of a matrix is what? Sum of the element of first row, and then find some of the element of the second row in absolute sense. If negative, we don't care. Some of the element of the third row, and then we find the maximum. Maximum row value will be the norm of TJ. Is any student can you give me what is the norm of the norm, L infinite norm of TJ for this case? Any student, please. 
1 over 3 is 1 over 3 because the first row is 1 over 5 1, one, one over 5 is a point 2 second row is 1 over 3 which is point 333 and the third row is 1 over 4 which means 0 0.25 so maximum row is the second one which is 1 over 1 over 3 we have here now so I calculate it here now. This is the things I calculate here. The sum of the first row is the one over five. Sum of the second row is one over three. Sum of the third row is one over four. And maximum is one over three. And this is, give you this. And the same way, this is your TG, TG num. And the TG num is what sum of the element in absolute sense of the first row, then second, and then third than the maximum. So that's, you will get the, the things we have here now. Of course, the maximum of this one is what? One over five. One over five is a point two. And of course, point two is what? Point two is less than point three. So condition is satisfy that the norm of TG is less than, the, and the smaller the norm, faster the convergence of the matter. And this means say, the Jacobi method converge slow than gas idle method or the sidle method converge faster. So this is a very good example. This type of example can come in the exam. I give all the, the, the other example here. Let's do this one is the simplest one. <laughs> he says show that the matrix form of gas idle method for this one is this one that you have to show the first part. Then he say, use this form to compute the, yeah, this is very good example because in exam teacher generally give you one method. And this is a complete example, complete example, this one, but only the difference is this is two by two, but generally in exam, they give you three by three here. Yeah. He say use this form to compute the second approximation using initial approximation is this one. Now he also give you here, if X is equal to one over one and two, that is the exact solution of the given system then find the L infinity norm of the exact error. And what is the last part of the question? Determine the number of iteration needed to get the accuracy. So this is <coughs> the complete example we have. Also, we can add one more here. We can add here, compute the error bond, compute the error bond. This is also the one of the part of this one. Anyhow, let's we do this one here. First, we find the, this show that he say the matrix form of the gas idle method for the given system. This one is this one. This you have to show. What is this one? This is TG. And what is this one? This is CG, the constant we have here. So now first you have to remember what is the formula to find out. It is a TG, this is the formula, D plus lower. And D plus lower is what? This is the diagonal and this is the lower. This is D plus L, which is two, zero, <coughs> one and two and inverse. And this is the, the U, the upper part, upper part is zero, zero, zero and one. <coughs> so we have a, this one now. So now you can easily find out the inverse of this one. Inverse of this one, you will find inshallah is this one here. Multiply this one here, and then you can have, this is the TG inverse. And the same way you can find out the constant CG, and this is the formula we have here now. And then you use what you call it, The inverse, you already know what is the inverse of this one. You just calculate it here. Multiply with the, the right-hand side, four and five. 
and inshallah you will get the constant is this one here so this is <coughs> exactly the which he asks you show that is it zero minus five and two five and is it exactly the same thing we finished the first part then what is the second part he say he say after finding this one use it this use this form to find this second approximation when you have x naught initial approximation of x1 is a 0.5 initial approximation of x2 is 1.5 so you use this one here the initial approximation this is a formula when you put k equal to zero here so you have x11 same matrix x0 initial approximation and this is a c constant you have what is the initial approximation given sorry here is a 0 0.05 here not 1.5 here so i use this one here the 0.5 and 0 0.5 this is the initial approximation change please this is not 1.5 this is 0 0.5 and when we change multiply this one you have the first approximation this one and then you use the formula second time here you have the second approximation is this one now you can see you never change this one you never change this one only the changing is here and here this is initial approximation given by the teacher and this is you just calculated in the first step and this is you call it the <coughs> the second approximation what is the third step the third step he say if x is equal to one and two the exact solution find the l infinity norm of the exact error can you give me <coughs> what is the exact error you have the exact error formula is what because we talk in the norm here it is what exact solution what is the exact solution given by the teacher it is one n and, and the two minus approximate solution and approximate solution you calculate by yourself and what is it uh, this is the things you have here now this is you have and what is this one it is 1.0 six to five and this is one point one point nine six eight eight nine six eight eight here now <laughs> you find the difference between this one you one minus one point zero zero six you got inshallah this one and then you got two minus 1.9688, you will get this one, inshallah. And then you have to find out the L infinity norm. What is the L infinity norm? L infinity norm is the maximum value in absolute sense. So what is the maximum value in absolute sense? This is the L infinity norm of the maximum value. Then he say, find the the number of iteration with accuracy is this one so as i told you maybe in exam here teacher can mention you compute the error bond so what is the error bond formula <coughs> this is the error bond formula you have here now so you have t what is the value of t you got please this is t right what is the maximum value? What is the L infinity norm of T, please? Can you give me anyone a student, please? L infinity norm of T. How many students we have here? 33 and no one is giving me the answer, please. Anyone? Uh, 0.5, doctor. Yeah, is a 0.5. I told you just, I told in the one, two, three minutes before some of the element in the first row in the absolute sense which is zero plus 0.5 is a 0.5 plus some of the next some of the element of the second row which is zero plus 0 0.5 is 2.5 which is a maximum is a 0.5 we have here now so you can see here how can you have here now please you can have the error 
if we teach an exam, he say compute the, the error bond here. So this is, I told you, what is TG nam here? This is a TG nam here. The maximum is what? The 0.5 we have here now. Then you have to calculate what? If you have calculated the error bond, so you can say here, X minus, where is that one? We say here, if we compute the error bond, please, let's make it here. Norm X minus X power two, because we have second approximation. Now, this is less than equal to less and equal to is what? So the exam not uh, correct. Huh? Another exam, not this exam. Sorry, sorry. Here. Yeah, this one, right? This is the things we have here now in front of you, like everything. So we have is what? We have x minus x power two. This is the norm. <laughs> it is less than equal to what? T. And what is the T we just calculated? Zero point? The five and power is what? Okay, because we ask number of second approximation is this one. And then you have to calculate the error. And X1, the first approximation, which you get is this one, minus initial approximation, which is given here, is this one. But I told you, please, this is zero, not 1.5, 0 0.5. And when you calculate this one, and inshallah, you will get, this is a value, is, 1.37, the five, right? And then taxim by what? Divided by one minus T nam and T nam is what? 0 0.5. And now you calculate this one. This will give you the, the possible error bond which is not asked in this question, but let's say maybe an exam teacher can ask you to find the error bond that you have to find out. Then he find the accuracy, 10 minus four. It, there is no, not 10 minus four, is a 10 minus two given here. This is okay, please, but sorry, I changed here. Last time I put in this one in the lecture note here. So this is the things we have two here because accuracy is given how much? is a 10 minus two here. So we have to use the formula 0 0.5 power K, 0 0.1 minus T, 1.55 is this one, this is error. And this is given accuracy when you simplify taking the lin on both sides and when you simplify that iteration you will get here. This is a good example we have here now how to find out the the all things here to find. So this is, let's say I give you another example, and this is many time I give in the exam. And this is a complete example like that one here. The question is what? This is a linear, because I told you, generally they give you in the exam three by three system here. Let's I'm using three by three system here. And he said that show that the both iterative method converge. And how to converge, you remember I told you, <coughs> to converge, we have a two condition for the convergence. One is STD, another is the norm is less than one. You can easily see this system is STD. But he says show that the norm is less than one. This condition you have to show is. And of course, an exam teacher not give you both method, he give you only one method, maybe Jacobi, maybe the gas side, but I will solve for the both cases. 
Then he say, find the second approximation when the initial of solution is this one. Compute the error bound, which I just calculated. Last example is what not ask. And number four is how many iteration to get the accuracy 10 minus three. So we have to do step by step that one here. <laughs> so what is the first stop? You have to find A into the form of L plus U plus D. L is the lower part. U is upper part and D is a diagonal part. And then you have to calculate. I'm solving first the case with the Jacobi method. Then I will solve with the Seidel method. Then we find out the TJ. This is the formula for the TJ norm. And you calculate TJ norm is this one. Then you find norm of TJ is what? The maximum of the first row, which is two by four. And the second row, one by three, because we don't care negative absolute sense. We are talking about two by three. And then this is two by five. What is the maximum? Two by three and two by three is a 0 0.667, which is less than one. And this condition is true. He say use this condition to check that. Then the second step is a use Jacobi formula to find out the, <coughs> the second iteration. So this is a Jacobi formula for the given system. And I told you how to find out the formula of x1 from the first equation, formula x2 from the second, formula of x3 from the third. And you find here, then use the initial approximation, 4, 3, and minus 3. So <laughs> you put k equal to 0. When you put k equal to 0, what you have? x1, the first approximation, it is what? 1 over 4, 12 x to zero, x to zero is given what? x to zero is given three, so you have a three here. Minus x three zero, x three zero is given what? Minus, so minus minus make positive. So 12 plus three plus three, it become 18. 18 by four is what? Nine by two, and nine by two is what? The 4.5. And then you come to here, x one zero, what is x one zero? given by the teacher is the four. So you have a four here minus X three zero and X three zero minus three. So it become plus three. So one plus four plus three equal to eight, eight by three and eight by three you use calculator. It will come 2.667. And the last one minus 14, what is X one K? X one zero, X one zero is given four. So you have a four here and X two zero given is three. So you have a three here minus 14 minus 4 minus 7 it how much become minus 21 and minus 21 the same by 5 give you what minus 4 by the 2 and now you can use second time you put k equal to 1 x1 2 equal to x21 what is x21 you just find x21 is this one so use this approximation inshallah you will get that what is the second, third part? In the third part, he say compute the error bond and the error bond we have here now is this formula is a TG, TJ, what we get TJ place, we just get TJ is a 0 0.667, which is two by three. So we have two by three power K, K is your second approximation. That's in one minus this. Initial, uh, first approximation minus initial approximation. So what you have to do, you find the difference between this one and then take the, the L infinity norm. L infinity norm is a maximum element in absolute sense here, which you inshallah, you will simplify this one. You will get this and you will get the job is 1.6 and 1.6 is an error, very, very big error. Why we have a big error? Because I told you, Jacobi method is not a very nice method. If you want to get good accuracy, you have to use the formula many times here. How many times we use the formula Jacobi? Only two times. And therefore, we have a big error. It should be close to zero, but it is a very big one here. Because we use the Jacobi formula how many times? Only two times here. Then the last part, he say compute the error bond and the error bond always calculate, uh, sorry, compute the number of iterations. So we always use the error bond formula, which is given 10 minus four. So we know TJ, which is two by three. 
Let's see by one minus two by three is one over three, right? And we already know what is the value of x1 minus x0. We already calculate is 1.2 here. And this is less than or equal to 10 minus 4. So 1.2, 16 by 1 by 3. So you will get this one. Take this one in the mocam and you have the, this shape. Now what you have to take, take the lin on both sides. When you take the lin, you will get this one. And when you simplify, Inshallah, you will get this approximation. Its mean, if we need the 10 minus 4 accuracy, which is not a very good accuracy, how many times we have to use the formula? 26 times we have to use the formula. So this is complete example for the Jacobi method. In exam, maybe teacher give you all part or maybe any three part or two parts here. Let's we, ex uh, we repeat this example with the help of the second method is the Gauss-Seidel method. So this is a Gauss-Seidel method. So first we have to show the norm of Tg should be less than one. First you have to find out D plus L inverse, which inshallah you will use any method or calculator, you will get this one. This is your U, multiply this one, and that will be your, the, the TG norm. And then you have to show TG norm, L infinity norm of TG should be less than one. And now you can find out easily, the sum of the first row is what, two by four, and then second is a six by 12, and what is the third is 12 by 60. Then you can find the maximum of this one here and maximum is half, which is less than one guarantee Seidel method will converge. Then he say, find the second approximation. So you have to write the, the formula of the Seidel method, which is here is the K plus one, here K plus one and K plus one. And then you use the initial approximation and you use K two time. First you put zero and then one, when you put zero, inshallah, the same way we did for the case of Jacobi method. We have first approximation, and this is a second approximation. What is the third part? Compute the error bond. This is the error bond formula, T norm square, and T norm, we just find out is how much. Half is a half square. Square mean the second iterate. If we say first, then it will be one. If we say third approximation, then it will be three. So we have this one, and this is your first approximation, and this is your initial approximation. Take the, simplify this one, you will get inshallah half. And when you take the difference of this one, then find the L infinity norm, inshallah, you will get this one. And here you will get the error bond. This error bond is also very, very big here because it should be close to zero but it is much better than Jacobi method. Jacobi, what he got? 1.6. And this one, he got 0.6334, better than this one. And then, then the last part, he said, <coughs> that compute the number of iteration. So number of iteration, always we find with the help of the error formula. This is the error formula. This is the accuracy. So we already know Tg half. K, we have to find out one minus half is half and x, y, x initial approximation minus first approximation minus initial approximation norm. We already calculated in the previous step is this one, is this. Now you have to simplify, take the lin on both sides here, and inshallah, you will get the value of k is this. Of course, k is integer, so we have to take, this is the things we have. So this is a complete example we have here now for the case of the iterative method. And uh, the, this is also, I give, yes, this is also a very good example, last example for the iterative method. And please, you are the one and only midterm exam, which is coming in the 10th week, I think. It is the 23rd of March, I think, on the Tuesday on the Jame, right? I will inshallah mention you 
your room number and everything inshallah don't worry next week i will send you your midterm exam will be up to this one up to the iterative methods so it's mean chapter number 1 2 complete learn linear equation and chapter number 3 up to the iterative the methods here many time i ask this question only one part here and i say here if this is a linear system this is the initial approximation and my question is compute the error bound x minus x k for the approximation using gauss seidel methods yes please can any student help me how can we do this problem remember he say compute the error bound i give you the error bound here this is the error bound let's say in the proper form here this is the error bound don't take the accuracy this is the error bound x minus xk the norm of t this is for the jacobi i'm talking gas seidel in the question power k 1 minus tj and then norm of the any uh, first approximation minus initial approximation yes how can you do this one yes please my question is to find this one x minus x tan not i write everything in front of you what is the now uh, the error formula x minus x power k nar i'm right this yes, is less yes. than equal to what the norm of t t power k right and this is divided by what 1 minus norm of t t and then multiply what norm of first and uh, no, minus first uh, and initial and the initial norm okay yes please how can you do this now please this is a question given what you need for this case please tg very good so first things we need is tg we need tg good tg and when you have a tg you can find tg norm right what is next one k no we don't have to find the k uh, x1 we yes we need to find x1 and x2 mm uh -huh. we need to find out look look the formula look the formula here we need tg right because we need t here we need x1 CG. CG we have here answer. we need x not given by the teacher what is the next things we need the constant the cg what we need the constant doctor no no the <laughs> error board how can we have a constant Yes. This is error formula. T we have this one. X one we need this one to find out. And Maybe initial extend. we need. So what you need? Extend. In the K. K. What is K given? I think ten. Ten. So what you have to do here? This is the only three things you need, and then you put here and you solve it. Class, that's the job. But what a student did. they say teacher you ask x to the 10 therefore we have to use x1 x2 x3 x4 x2 x10 no you don't need because 10 mean the k and where we need the k here we need the k here only here because we need only 
initial approximation and, and the first approximation, right? So that's a very good question, please, here. This is the formula, as I told you. This is the formula we need here now. And when k is given t, and that the things. <laughs> so only things you need to find out what now? Only you need to find tg and the first one. And tg formula is this one. You can calculate. I find how to find inverse by Jordan method. But this is your choice here. Now, when you find here, I just give you the job here. This is a TG norm, TG matrix here. What is the norm of this one? Sum of the absolute in first row, the second row, and the, two, the third row, and the maximum. And you can easily find out the maximum is what? One over four, which is 0.25 here now. Now you need the formula because you need to find the first approximation. This is the formula you have here now, right? And then, you have to find the first approximation and the first approximation using the given initial approximation by the teacher is this. You use only K one time, K equal to zero in this formula. And now everything we got here now, this is TG power K, K is a 10. The same one minus TG now, which is 0.75. And what is this one, 1.75? This is when you find the first approximation, which is this one, minus initial, which is zero, zero. So it means this is the same thing. What is the L infinity norm of this one? What is the L infinity norm of a vector? L infinity norm of a vector is a maximum element in absolute sense. And which is what? Maximum is what? One point. Seven five, and this is the things here. And now you use this one. Uh, you see how good error you have here now. Is that ten minus seven? Is that zero point zero 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 five time? And then you have a two here. It should be the good one because we are using how many iterations? We are using ten iterations. This Dr. is iterations. Yes. Yes. Can you go uh, to the TG? When we calculate uh, TG, this one TG. Yes, the 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 one uh, one in uh, the first row. Which one? It's, uh, it's one? wrong, right? Yeah, this yes. is zero. This should be. Yes. This should be zero. Which is I make it okay here. Which I make it here, but this should be zero. Only the that things. Rest is okay. And the job is also okay, no problem with that. Okay. Right? Right. So this is the things here, and this is your material for your, the one and only one midterm exam here. Next time we will talk, inshallah, the error in solving the linear system. This will not come in the exam, but maybe then the final exam, inshallah. And this is the last topic that we will finish, inshallah, on Tuesday. Here. So please, you have your midterm exam coming, inshallah, soon, two week time left now. And we will meet in the, the room. And I think we will meet your group in room number 95, 1A95, 1A96, but I will inshallah inform you, your room number and where, which room you have to go, half a student up to which the serial number go to. I will mention everything, so don't worry. Any question now, please, before I take the attendance? Anything you need now? Yes, Victor. Yes, tell me that. Yeah. Uh, the date of uh, exam, mid one. I, I give already by the syllabus here to you. I think, is any student confirm me? I think it's the 23rd of March on Tuesday, I think from seven to nine. I, uh, I mentioned, 20, I already sent you the syllabus. Huh? It's 20, 24 of March. Is it 24 of March? Yes, 24. Uh, it, I think it's Tuesday, 23. I mentioned 23, I think. 
I took it from the schedule from the uh, like they sent the email from the email itself. No, no, it is on Tuesday or what? Not sure. No, no, I will. I will mention you, inshallah. I will check again myself. Yeah. Is it your Tuesday? Is it Tuesday? Uh, I think it, no. it is Tuesday from yeah, seven to nine. Think. This is confirmed. I think yeah, it's twenty yeah. third, not twenty four. Please, twenty four is a Yomi Arba. I think is a Wednesday. No, mm. but don't worry. I will send you inshallah again on maybe today or tomorrow. Inshallah, don't worry. Doctor. Yes. How can I find the recording of the lectures? I I give you the the Google Drive, my Google Drive number. All my lecture is on the Google Drive. Okay, thank you. You you have my Google Drive the link not number? Sure, but I not sure, but I'll ask my friends in WhatsApp. Okay, anyhow, I will send you also if you want it to all of you. Send your Google Drive. You can find all my recording there, inshallah. Thank you. And also Mudakka, Doctor, please. Also what? Mudakka, Mudakka for the Okay. Lecture. Now what I do, I will send you chapter number two. Already I send you, I think. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yes so I will about. send you chapter number three up to iterative method, right? Okay. Inshallah today. Okay. And please, please, you have to show me very good. You did very, 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 very bad in the quiz. And I told you last 20 year, my, my any students, wallah, any group, never get bad marks. Wallah. I don't know why you get bad marks. Here. You got the very bad marks here. Okay, what happened with you? Wallah, or the exam was difficult or what? 